ball lately, but we've had great touchdown plays and, and big plays throwing the football. And I think those plays have been opened up by our ability to run the ball. Look at what Malik did last week, done the last couple of weeks. I mean, if it hadn't been for the injuries, I mean, I know there's no what ifs, but if it hadn't been for the injuries, how much he really could have helped this offense even last year, right? Yeah, I'm just really happy that he's back playing. You know, uh, I know how hard he worked and how devastated he was when he had the elbow injury because uh, he was really feeling good about his knowledge of the game, his knowledge of the offense, and how he was running the ball. Um, and he, you know, he, at one point, he thought maybe his senior year was over with. Um, but he just did a great job of working. Our training staff and doctors did an unbelievable job. Um, so it's just good to see him back out there, you know, playing fast and hard. And, you know, he seems really um, in tune to seeing what the blocks are and making decisive cuts. And then his acceleration is something that's been really good. Sometimes with uh, new road games, you go down a day early, but this is, of course, different because it's only an hour away. How do you handle Logistics yeah, we'll try to keep it as normal Friday as, as we can. Um, and then, you know, after we have our walkthrough, we'll get on the bus and, and go over to the hotel there and then go through the same procedure that we normally would on a Friday night. Bobby, with your kids, do you want to just see a normal week of preparation or would you like to see maybe just a, a touch of an edge with them all week long? Yeah, I, you know, you know I, I don't think you have to talk a lot about the, the touch of an edge. They do that themselves. They handle that themselves. What we need to do is just really focus on our concentration in the meetings, our understanding, um, the things that we've been working on in the last three weeks is coming to practice and meetings with a really good attitude and then going out and working as hard as we can and, and you know, trying to understand that we earn the right to win on the practice field. I think that needs to carry over, uh, and we need to go out and have a great week of practice. Where do you see that, that edge? Where, what makes you notice that you sense a little bit different? I mean, they all know about the game, and they talk about it, and, you know, we, we didn't have to say a whole lot. What's your evaluation of your improvement in the last couple of games, three weeks, two games? Yeah, I think we've, we've made a lot of improvement. You know, defensively, uh, I think it's great to have Jair back. Not only is he a tremendous player, but his energy, his excitement, his emotion, you know, all of that helps everybody else out there on the field. Their confidence level goes up. You know, as he, he brings to the defense what Lamar brings to the offense and, and as far as his energy. Um, so I think that's really helped us. And I think that, you know, you see the, the, uh, the way James Hearns has been playing and his ability to get after the quarterback and get the ball out and get the ball on the ground. Um, I think that's really helped us too. Is his, he's playing as fast as he has all year in the in the last couple games, and um, you know all those things add up and help us a lot. Offensively, I guess the biggest thing's been the running attack. Yeah, you know we've been moving the ball consistently all all year offensively. I think the the ability to hand it to the running backs and the offensive line controlling the line of scrimmage. Um, allows Lamar to stay fresher and stay into the focus and concentration of the passing game. And, you know, when he is running the football, um, it takes a load off of him and, and puts it on other people, and that helps him, you know, stay into it for four quarters. Do you feel like, I mean, you, you, always, you always talk about not wanting to treat every, any game differently than another one, but then this game comes and you, you, you do sense that your team feels a little bit different. How, how do you? those two philosophies and make sure that, well, you don't take any game lightly, but you do. We just go out and practice. You know, we just go to the meetings, go out and practice, and our guys get ready to play and, you know, try to go out and put it all on the field. You were talking about Jair a minute ago. Um, there was a play the other day, might have been more, I happened to see a replay, where he was defending Ishmael, and Ishmael did kind of a stop and go. And it didn't look like Jair was reacting to him. It looked like he was running simultaneously with him. How does he do that? What's, how's, how's he know what's coming? Yeah, you know, that's just uh, his mental part of the game that, you know, allows you to, to be a, even a better player besides your physical part is his understanding of splits, the routes, uh, whether he raises his shoulders or lowers his shoulders. You know, Jair really does a great job of studying it. I think he took this matchup pretty personal and, and spent, you know, a great week in really working at it and knowing what was going on out there. Um, and he was very, very competitive. 
Um, but yeah, I know. I think it's, I think it's the sluggo route you're talking about, where he tried to run a slant and go, and we completely covered him. Um, and then the quarterback got flushed out. So it was a, it was an excellent job. And you know, he he played really well. I mean, I, you're asking a lot of questions I really don't understand. But what we really do is go and prepare for the game that you're playing and do everything you possibly can to win that game. Um, and that's it. You just focus on that. You know, you focus on, on this week in practice, focus on today and the meetings when we come tonight and get things done, Get start getting prepared. Tuesday, you crank it up a little bit more. Wednesday, you crank it up a little bit more. We're going to get up early Thursday morning and have a, a morning practice and celebrate Thanksgiving together on, on for a meal on Thursday, a uh, turkey meal, and, you know, let them relax a little bit. So it's kind of a, a lot of the vets will understand exactly what the routine is, and they'll help the, the freshmen and everybody, you know, understand how you go through Thanksgiving week. Um, you know, they'll all get on the phone, call whoever helped them get here, thank them. You know, that's something that I think is really important is that they, whether it's mom, dad, grandma, coach, whoever that is, that they, you know, get on the phone, give them a phone call and, and thank them for everything they did to allow them to be where they are today. No, I mean, Lamar doesn't talk about it a whole lot, but he's a great competitor, you know, so I'm sure that, uh, you know, last year he put too much on himself thinking that, you know, that fumble cost us the game. Uh, and that's just how great competitors are. You know, when you always when you look back at a game like that, there were 15 other plays that if you just do it on that play, you win the game, you know, so it's always, uh, but I can see him saying that. Yeah, we really have to understand the formations and what they do out of it, uh, who's eligible, who's not eligible. Uh, and they're, you know, they're in advantage of a, a blocker with the direct snap. So uh, we have to play fast. We can't hesitate and you got to get lined up. And, um, you know, something we've been working on now for three weeks is tempo. And, and when they do it, a lot of times they try to change the tempo. How about just in general, their ability to run the ball with, with Snell? How important is that for? Yeah, we need to. He's a really good player. You know, he's a physical guy. He runs hard. Um, you know, we got to make sure that we don't give him a lot of space and a lot of room to get through. Did you, you said, I think it was Saturday after the game, that you feel like Lamar is fresher at this time of year than he was last year? Yeah, I do. I feel like he's, I mean, by his acceleration and breaking tackles and, you know, again, even when I watch the tape one more time, um, a couple of those touchdown runs and breaking tackles or something that you really saw the acceleration. Uh, I think the extra weight in his, his lower body is something that's really helped him too. Yeah, it reminded me a lot of, um, you know, even Reggie's true freshman year, you know, where you you, um, you take a break. I remember Reggie sat out for a little bit, and, you come back and all of a sudden the game was, you know, Also, I think what it did for him a lot was um, after that game, he came in and wanted to get meeting and get ready for the bowl game and, you know, wanted to become a, a real quarterback and really understand the passing game. So it was not only a, a you know, a great game for him, but it was something I think really uh, helped him motiv his motivation. Okay, thank you.